Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. It is fight week, Horn versus Crawford. And Team Horn says Crawford getting chin checked. Stay tuned. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego in the back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel, donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Team Horn, they've been doing a lot of talking, and it's fight week, so the talk is almost over, and we're going to see what's what. Terrence Crawford moving up in weight, taking on WBO champion um, Jeff Horn, all out of Australia. And his trainer did an interview with the Australian, and he's already in Vegas. His, his trainer's name is Glenn Rushton, and they had interesting things to say, and they kind of brought up a, a previous Terrence Crawford fight. And he's basically saying that if Horn connects with Crawford, he's going to get badly hurt. And this is what Rushton told the Australian. I don't think Terrence Crawford's chin has been tested. I think when he got hit by Gamboa and wobbled by a super featherweight, wait until you get hit by Jeff Horn. You won't just wobble, you will fall over. I saw something in a lot of different Terrence Crawford fights. He is a brilliant boxer. We take nothing away from his skill. He is in the peak of his career. It is in his own backyard. I just want to go into the fight and say no excuses. No excuses, Terrence. Whoever wins, wins, right? Got it? Make sure you are clear on that. I said the same thing going into the Manny Pacquiao fight and afterward, all the excuses came out. All these excuses. When I stood in the ring with Manny Pacquiao after the fight, I looked in the eyes of a warrior. A week later, I hear the rantings of a politician. All the advisors said, you can't admit you got beaten. We have to have excuses. We have to have reasons. I just hope we don't have the same thing against Terrence Crawford, end quote. So he, he doesn't want no excuses, which is great. I mean, I agree with him. Boxing shouldn't be, it's, it's a gentleman's sport. So it should have good sportsmanship. If you lose, just lose gracefully. Like when Pacquiao lost a lot of his fights, he didn't necessarily lose graciously. Um, for Eric Morales, he was like, um, do, do, do. Uh, I believe my uh, my clitoris, uh, my my gloves. And he was saying he got a cut and he couldn't wear the gloves he wanted. He, we already know what happened when he fought Mayweather and lost, embarrassingly. Um, my shoulder and I, I think uh, salt water. You know what I mean? So I agree with him in that regard. Gentleman sport, have some sportsmanship, some couth, and the winner wins. So uh, I'm picking Terrence Crawford to win, despite what they're talking about. And it's funny that they're saying this, excuse this. And then there's a big article that comes out saying that Jeff Horn's team was, they were forced to train in the sauna in Las Vegas. But this is all good. It's all good for building the fight. As far as the comparison to Gamboa, um, Crawford definitely got hurt in that. I talked to Crawford personally after, I think it was the Victor Postal fight. Have it all on camera. It's on the channel. Asked him what he thought it was his most difficult fight. Later, right before the Ndongo fight, I interviewed his trainer, Bomac, and he agreed that the Gamboa was the most difficult fight. So it's just funny because people, like, you know, they'll broadcast your failures and, um, you know what I mean, minimize your successes. And the Gamboa fight wasn't even a failure because that's what the fight that really put Terrence Crawford on. So it's not a failure in terms of that. But, you know, they're going to focus more on the, the fight where the only fight really in recent memory that he got rocked and looked vulnerable, I guess. You know what I mean? Looked like he could be anywhere close to being badly hurt or on his way out or anything. You know what I mean? But the thing is, you can't do that. You got to look at the current fighter in front of you. And to me, I think Terrence Crawford has has grown exponentially. It's just like you look at even like a Vasil Lomachenko. And this is the difference. Crawford never lost. He still got it together and dropped Gamboa four times. So you can keep saying he's a, a featherweight and all this, a super fat, whatever. But Gamboa had a fight at 35, I believe, before he fought Crawford. He's a big puncher and Olympic gold medalist. He had speed, athleticism, and he had power. And where Crawford's body was, what if he was killing himself to make weight and then making weight made his punch resistance go down, which could happen if, um, because if you look at that particular fight, he um, rehydrated to like 155. So maybe that wasn't his rightful weight at the time. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things that could go into it, but I take nothing away from Gamboa. Gamboa, he's a hell of a fighter. So at the end of the day, no excuses. I like that. And um, I just think Crawford has grown a lot since that fight. Nobody's like touching him up like Gamboa. I had Gamboa winning like five, six rounds. Even the Delorme fight, I had him 
that was his first fight at 35 and i had uh delorme kind of winning um or it might have been at 40 it might have been his first fight at 40 whatever weight it was his first fight in the new division delorme was winning early rounds and then he got stopped you know what i mean but it's like crawford keeps getting better and better fine wine shit you know what i mean so i wouldn't really hold too much weight on fights that happen in whenever year 2012 or 2014 whenever the fuck the gamboa fight happened because it's different you know what i mean you look at Sergio Martinez, he got stopped, stopped. Some pe some of y'all boxer fans who were young and stuff, you wouldn't remember this, um, or went back and did your homework, but he got stopped by Antonio Margarito. But by the time he's facing Paul Williams, he's a completely different fighter. You look at Lomachenko right now, completely different fighter um, from the Lomachenko loss to Salido. I would say he's improved. I mean, anyone who doesn't say that would probably be saying, probably be a hater. You know what I mean? So you look at those examples. Was Martinez Madavia the same fighter he was when he lost to Margarito when he fought Kelly Pavlik? I wouldn't say he was. But either way, this is a good conversation points. They said they're going to chin check Crawford. And they don't want excuses. So that's good. I don't think Crawford's side wants excuses. Don't be like, oh, I mean, there really can't be an excuse if Crawford wins because he's the guy moving up. And this is uncharted territory for him. But um, hopefully all parties stay true to that. Um, Pacquiao losing and making excuses, that's his own thing. But we've seen good sportsmanship for the most part from Crawford's side. And Jeff Horn's undefeated. So we'll see what happens. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe to the next video. Ego. So. so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Oh,